Good morning and welcome if you are watching on Facebook or on our YouTube channel. Today is Palm Sunday, the first day of the holiest of weeks, the day we remember Jesus' triumphal entry into Jerusalem. And yes, we know that even though we'll hear cries of Hosanna this morning, they will soon fade and by Friday the mood will have changed and we'll hear chants of crucify. But before then, this week will take us from the palm-strewn, dusty streets of Jerusalem to nights of bread and wine and feet washing, to betrayal and denial to the silent agony in the Garden of Gethsemane and the unimaginable cruelty of Good Friday. Until at last, next Sunday, early in the morning, we will once more hear the joyful sounds of He is risen. He is risen indeed. Let's start our service this morning with our call to worship, this week written by Tom Schumann. We come to prepare for the holiest of weeks. We will journey through praise with joy on our lips. We will travel through betrayal and death, cradling hope deep in our hearts. Jesus leads us through this week and we will follow, for he is the life we long for. He is the word who sustains us. We wave palm branches in anticipation. We lay our love before him to cushion his walk, setting aside all, po all power, glory and might he comes, modelling humility and obedience for all of us. Hosanna, Hosanna. Blessed is the one who brings us the kingdom of God. The Palm Sunday story is a story we know well. Jesus comes riding into Jerusalem on a donkey, fulfilling an ancient prophecy from Zechariah. See, your king comes to you gentle and riding on a donkey, on a colt, the foal of a donkey. The crowd welcomes Jesus, spreading their cloaks on the road while others cut branches from the trees and greet him with the words from Psalm 118. Words that the crowd would know by heart. Words from a psalm recited during the Passover season. Hosanna to the son of David. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. It's a scene full of drama. The city of Jerusalem is heaving with people, most of whom have made the annual pilgrimage for the Passover and who have come pouring out into the dusty streets of Jerusalem to join the parade. Waving palms or throwing their coats on the ground, honouring Jesus as they would a new king. Hosanna, they cry out. A Hebrew expression meaning save, a cry for deliverance, a cry for help in their time of trouble. Hosanna to the son of David. Leaving, no doubt, that some in the crowd already see Jesus as the promised Messiah, the coming King of Israel. This year, with the need to stay home and if we do go out to keep our distance from one another, our streets are empty and eerily quiet. And so it's perhaps more difficult for us to imagine this first Palm Sunday. The noise and the clamour, the rush of excitement, the smells and the carnival atmosphere, people all crowding together with that sense of community of togetherness of oneness but just behind that festive facade were feelings also of fear and anxiety feelings of weariness but here comes Jesus the one who is going to change everything for them 
the one who will free them from their Roman oppressors. And Jesus will come and he will stir up the city of Jerusalem, but not in the way these followers were expecting. And we know that the, the mood of the crowd will change, even as the shouts of Hosanna fade and the palm branches wither in the hot sun. Some will change their minds about Jesus. And instead of these pure, sweet echoes of blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, we will hear menacing, ragged cries of crucify him. Our Palm Sunday service today is simple and quiet, restrained even. Our Palm crosses that we usually give out at the end of the service will be kept for next year. And there will be no singing of we are marching in the light of God. No Palm branch procession this morning. And it's understandable that we grieve for what we've lost this year. Weddings and baptisms and graduations, end of term services and prom nights, concerts, holidays and all manner of family celebrations. And we grieve also for the joy of our Easter celebrations, the gathering of our church family on Easter morning, watching the children of the Fog Squad roll their eggs singing together the words of that wonderful Easter hymn, Thine be the glory. But this holy week, Jesus is still riding into Jerusalem, into a city that is stirred up, just as he comes into our stirred up world and meets us where we are, even if that means coming into the centre of suffering and sickness, Chaos and confusion. Jesus still hears our cries of Hosanna. Lord, save us. Jesus still breaks the bread and pours the wine. Jesus still goes to the cross and dies that we might live. So this Pam Sunday, I encourage you to join that procession, even if it's only in your heart. We still need to lay everything at Jesus' feet and give him honour and praise. And more than ever, we have to sing our hosannas. Lord, save us. Let's come together in prayer. Let's pray together. Loving Lord, on this Palm Sunday, strengthen our faith for the holy week ahead. We pray for our world caught in the grip of this pandemic. We pray for those who are afraid, for the old and the ill, for those who are finding it difficult to understand why the world around them has changed. We pray for those with dementia, who miss the comfort of their regular activities. For our children whose worlds have been turned upside down and who have had to learn to cope with a new way of learning, a new way of playing, a new way of living. We pray for healing for those who are suffering from the virus and for their, their loved ones who are not able to be with them at their bedside, to hold a hand or to whisper words of comfort. We pray for all carers, whether caring for people at home, in hospital or in care homes. And Lord, we pray for ourselves and for our families. Give us grace and courage to follow you in this, the holiest of weeks. To follow you into the darkness and suffering of the cross. And to wait for the light and fullness of the resurrection glory. This holy week in the sound of breaking bread. In the sound of coins being counted. 
in the twisting of the crown of thorns, in the sound of nails being hammered, in the sound of silence. May we still believe in the way of love. May we still whisper our hosannas. May we remain with you in every moment, still believing, still following, still your friends and companions, still singing. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. And so we pray in the words that you taught those first disciples. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. This Holy Week we will still have our reflections Monday to Friday as usual and you'll find them on the Facebook page uh, about 10.15 or so each morning. I hope also to record a service of shadows uh, on Friday night and that will be posted on the Facebook and uh, YouTube channel. Brendan Mike Goss from Carnoustie Church is recording a service, an Easter sunrise service at 6am in the morning. He'll be on Facebook Live. But the good news is if you don't want to get up at 6am, you'll still be able to see that service later. I hope also to have an, an Easter Sunday service next week. Again, that will be on the YouTube channel and Facebook page and also a link on our own website. I'm uploading a series of children's addresses onto a YouTube channel. Um, Alison Stewart is sending these out to our folk children. And if you have children and you would like to have that, I can send you the link if you get in touch with me. As a congregation, we're joining with Voluntary Action Angus, a community initiative to support those who are most vulnerable in our town. And if you're not in any of the high-risk groups and would like to help with that then please do get in touch with me and I will put you in touch with uh, Voluntary Action Angus um, and indeed if you want to you can call our local coordinator Clive Goldstraw on 075256 199966. The food bank which we usually collect for is still operating and Mary Bushnell is collecting items for that and so if you want to donate and can do so safely please leave donations at Mary's door or contact Mary on the phone number which you will find on our directory page on update. We've come now to the end of our time together. Stay well, stay safe, stay home. We tell your story, we follow in your footsteps, lead us into Holy Week. We walk towards the city, we wait with you in the garden. Lead us onto holy ground. We journey to the cross, our hope in the resurrection. Lead us into holy joy and the blessing of God Almighty. Father, Son and Holy Spirit be with you and all whom you love this day and forevermore. Amen. <laughs>